of interested in dating anime boys but don't know where to start, in that case I want to give you some recommendations which games to choose for different platforms or different tastes, available mostly in English and Japanese, and to try to include both plot and character driven games, meaning games that either focus on an overarching story or are more focused on sweet character interactions. So you can try which suits your tastes better. Starting with everybody's all-time favorites that are available on multiple platforms. First, Amnesia. You awake with your memories lost and can decide in which world you choose to find your memories and the reason for your Amnesia. All worlds where you date one of the guys are vastly different and have their own stories. There are multiple endings and some tragic ones as well. Most describe this game as an unforgettable experience. And the other all-time classic is Hakuoki, both Kyoto Winds and Edo Blossoms. It's set in the Meiji period, where the heroine gets entangled in the fight of the Shinsengumi, defending the Shogunate. And this game is definitely more plot-heavy, brutal and very tragic, and it can take up to 100 hours to complete. Coming to titles on the Switch, and one of the newer titles is Buster Fellows. It's a bit like a crime novel with some time travel elements where the main character gets entangled with a group of men who kind of execute their own justice. The romance is quite scarce and all, only at the end of each character route after a long common path. Common path meaning the time you spend together with all the guys without having decided on a different route or on a different character to pursue. So it's a good game if you're not sure whether an Atoma game or dating guys is for you and you would like to first try out a visual novel. Then the very famous Code Realize is one of the most recommended titles on the Switch and there's even an anime adaption. It's about a girl in steampunk London who has a poisonous skin but the love interests help her unravel the mysteries of her existence. It's known for intriguing characters and interesting story with a bit of romance here and there. But overall it's mostly plot driven. More character driven on the other hand is Café Enchanté. You play Cotone, who inherits her grandfather's café that is especially serving fantasy husbandos. <laughs> you have charming quirky fantasy characters that, had a, that have a lot of depth and despite of a cheerful looks the game can and will probably make you cry. <laughs> a perfect combination of humor and angst if you want to try out what a good Atoma game can do with your emotions. A small title I recommend to grab on a sale is Ephemeral Fantasy on Dark. It's a character driven game where you go to school in the fantasy universe with the race system and can romance four different races. It's light hearted, easy and quick to read but it was for me my gateway Otoma game though it's objectively not the best on the list. Considering the upcoming titles of Switch releases we have Cupid Parasite a fluffy fantasy game where you play the female goddess Cupid, who is eager to prove to her father humans can fall in love without the god's help too, and therefore needs to get the most unmarriable men <laughs> to marry. <laughs> this game is full of humor, romance, and it's mostly character driven. And if you're coming from shoujo manga or anime, Lover Pretend could be a good start for you. The main character wants to become a scriptwriter and find a father and therefore ends up pretending to be in love with either of the love interests. It's very light-hearted and deals with the difficulties of first love. That all sounded too boring and generic? Well, Heartful Boyfriend is definitely not, because here you date pigeons. And this game is more a mockery of classical Toma games. Why is it on the list, you ask? Because it is a game that, like a good Otoma game, will not fail to surprise you if you spend the time to play it fully through. The other more plot-driven game is Psychedelica of the Black Butterfly or the sequel Psychedelica of the Ash Hawk. The Black Butterfly is famous for its messed up story and it's not very romancy. but if you'd enjoy losing your memories and fighting to death in a spooky mansion without a clue what's going on, this game might be for you especially if you don't care much about romance but rather want to experience a twisted, mysterious story. When you choose to play your Toma games mobile, you will discover many games use either gacha mechanics or only have a set amount you can play each day. 
if you don't want to spend money on them, but most of the following games will be free to play if you have some patience. Starting with probably the most famous game and that's Mystic Messenger. This is a real life messenger game where you chat with mysterious guys in a group chat and even if that game will not cost you a lot of money, it will definitely cost you a lot of time. <laughs> also very popular is Obey Me. You're an exchange student in a school for demons and the only rule is they have to obey to you. Also very famous is the Ikimen series, be it Ikimen Sengoku, Revolution, Vampire or the newly released Princess. In all of those entries you kind of get sent into an, into an alternative universe, either historical, fantasy based or in the newest entry Beauty and the Beast setting and can romance a wide variety of guys. And the newest popular addition to mobile games is Tears of Tamazis. It's a detective plot where you solve cases as a lawyer and romance your colleagues. It has gacha me mechanics like luck based progression when you want to level up your cards but you can romance the boys a limited time a day or play mini games with them whenever you want to. On PC you also have a wide variety of games you can play like the before mentioned Amnesia, Hakuoki, Psychedelica and Hateful Boyfriend. The games I want to add in the sections are Cinderella Phenomenon. In a time of war between humans, fairies and witches curse falls upon the land. The main character has to fulfill three good deeds, but as cold-hearted as she is, that is not as easy as it seems. But in order to be able to do this, she has to join forces with mysterious men who also have their own curses to solve and battles to fight. You could describe this game as a new take on classic fairy tales with a tragic twist to it, and it's definitely an easy choice as it's free to play on Steam. The other game I want to mention is Taisho Alice. It begins rather strangely with the main character, yet again, having lost her memory and now she can choose to go from utter darkness into one mirror book, where a gender-swept fairy tale character awaits her. <laughs> this game starts off as an unspectacular romantic game, but the more roots you play, the more you'll unravel about the mirror world and everything will become rather twisted. To fully enjoy the game you'd have to play every episode, but also the first episodes will give you a feel of what a romantic sweet Otome game can be like, but carrying on it will surely surprise you. Other games I still feel are worth mentioning are Oz Mafia and Certain Scarlet, but both have mix mixed reviews and especially Oz Mafia with its many not easily obtainable endings can be overwhelming for beginners. Concerning the price range of those games, most console games are about 40 to 60 euros, but there are also games below 20 euros, and those are Amnesia or Hakuoki, either on Steam or um, the PlayStation Store, as well as Hatofu Boyfriend. Other games I haven't mentioned before are games by the developer Voltage. They are both available on mobile and Switch, but on your mobile phone you would pay to play each single route, so playing on Switch would be the cheaper option if you decide to play the whole game. Those games in general are not as detailed as other bigger titles, but they still are enjoyable and easy to get into. The ones I want to mention especially are Starcrossed Myth and Enchanted in the Moonlight. And free Otome games are most of the mobile games I mentioned, but as I said, if you want to play other games, be aware that there might be hidden fees or you have to pay for each route or there might be gacha mechanics that will still get some money out of you. <laughs> but Cinderella Phenomenon on Steam is totally free. I hope with at least one of these games you can start off your Otome obsession and get to know this interesting and varied and exciting genre.